Welcome everybody to UF Pro's Instructor Series. My name is Jerry. To the left of me is B-Dub. To the right of me is Luis. Collectively together, we are Triple Feed. And today we're going to be talking about our protection series. Okay, so let's identify what protection means. There's a lot of terms that get thrown about in the industry. Ultimately, what it boils down to is you're responsible for the security and safety of a person, place, or thing. So let's break that down slightly. So at the highest tier, you got the Secret Service, right? They deal in close protection of dignitaries. They deal in close protection of POTUS and politicians. You kind of go down from there and you go corporate security. You're in charge of execs, billionaires, et cetera, et cetera. From there, probably retail protection where you protect retail, malls, locations, et cetera. And then at the, at the core foundation, protection of yourself, your loved ones, it could be your family, your wife, your kids, your husband, whatever the case may be. Okay, next we're gonna cover gear and attire. Attire, we're gonna circle back because that's probably gonna be the most dynamic and fluid of the two. So let's start with gear. At its core foundation, this is what we found with Triple Feed to be the, the core essentials that you need to carry on your body. So there's gonna be a weapon. We say weapon because it depends on where you're at in the world or depends on where you are or your assignment. A weapon could be a handgun or it could be something else. After that, a backup weapon. Some people carry knives, some people carry an additional handgun. It all depends again on your laws, your regulations, and your assignment. Flashlights. Uh, I think you guys know that Triple Feed loves flashlights, handheld flashlights. We're not just talking about weapon mounted lights, but we believe that you should have some kind of flashlight on your body. And then finally, medical gear. And that could be something as simple as a tourniquet, or it could be even more advanced medical gear depending on your training and depending on how you want to carry it yourself on your body. Let's go over the gear and attire that I'm currently wearing right now. So this is more of a casual covert environment that I'm wearing. So a plain button up t-shirt flannel with jeans. Uh, directly in front of me, I'm gonna have my appendix holster with a mag caddy. I have a ratchet style belt system. On my left side, I'm gonna have my, some of my medical gear. So I'm gonna have my tourniquet at minimum and then a handheld flashlight. On my right side, I'm gonna have that backup weapon. And for me, my backup weapon here stateside is gonna be just a knife. And then on my ankle, I'm gonna carry a ankle kit with additional medical gear. So remember, this is just what I'm currently wearing right now. A tire is going to be the most fluid, and it's always going to depend on a few factors. That's going to be the task at hand, your location, the climate, and then your environment. Next, let's bring in Luis. He's going to be wearing a covert semi-formal attire. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I'm in a semi-formal look. I can be at a corporate event. I could be at a red carpet event, or I could be at a shopping mall with a client. It's no big deal. I can still fit in and don't look out of place. All right, guys, as you guys can see on my right side here, I have my primary weapon, which is my handgun, my secondary weapon, which is my baton. On the left side here, I have my extra magazine, along with my flashlight and my handcuffs here. I also have medical on the spalm of my back. And again, it all falls in with our foundational gear. It has primary, secondary, medical, and a flashlight, which is pretty much what we all need on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's take a look at what B-Dub's wearing right now. This is more of a covert uniform attire. Absolutely, so I'm essentially in polo shirt and khakis, made popular by overseas contracting, and that's kind of been the cliche uh, security uniform for semi-formal, uh, but it can be any sort of uniform. So think of a more formalized security officer has maybe a badge or patches to identify who he is. But uh, think events such as a carnival, a concert, large gatherings like that. It could be retail, such as a jewelry store, at a mall, strip center, something like that. Uh, but essentially it's anywhere that needs uh, armed uniform presence. And again, I am armed uh, with uh, the shirt over, so it is covert, but I have the same things that we, we believe be the bare bones minimum. I have my primary weapon, I have my secondary weapon, I have an extra magazine, as well as a flashlight and medical gear. Hey, thanks again for tuning in to our first episode of the Protection Series. Today we defined what protection is to us, foundational gear, and attire. Attire, remember, being the most fluid out of the three topics. Stay tuned for our next episode where we're going to be covering movements specific to vehicles. Right